Good day everyone, I am Krizal Anjay Tristiza from the College of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences. A fourth year student currently taking the Bachelors of Science in Fisheries. Today I will be presenting my thesis entitled Morphological Identification of Spiny Lobster Parulus Panulurus SPP in Palawan, Philippines. For the introduction, Parulus is the false larval stage of spiny lobster. It resembles the adult lobster, however its body is completely transparent. The main reason why it is also referred as the crystal perulus. And there are approximately 13 species of panelurus. Seven species are found in the Philippine waters. And in Palawan, there are four species of panelurus found predominant in the area of collection. Namely, the panelurus ornatus, panelurus versicolor, panelurus longibis longibis, and the panelurus peninsiliatus. And due to its abundance and high demand, the collection of spiny lobster perulus is now becoming an emerging topic. Many small-scale fishers are now engaging in the collection. However, the information regarding on the collected species during its perulus stage is still unknown. Therefore, the study photo-documented the changes in the morphological characteristics such as the coloration and the physical appearance of the crystal perulus until distinguishable into the species level. For the materials and methods, the figure here shows the location of the collection site. As you can see, the highlighted area are the Barangay Tagboros, San Jose, and Binduyan in Puerto Princesa City, and the Barangay Kalasagin in the municipality of Brooks Point, Palawan. For the sample collection, 27 sample perulus were collected from these four collection sites. 12 were collected from Barangay San Jose, and 5 each from Barangay Tagboros, Binduyan, and Kalasagin. For the transport of the sample, upon the collection, samples were placed inside a plastic bottle that is half filled with seawater and then transported to Barangay Siksigan where the samples was then observed. For the preparation of the aquaria, aquaria were made from the half lower part of 1.5 liter soda bottles and was labeled according to the collection site to differentiate the samples from each locality. After that, the aquaria were filled with 300 ml seawater provided with aeration to sustain the life of the sample perulus. For the maintenance of the aquaria, the study applied the 50-50 water exchange every after 3 days to prevent the mortality of the sample perulus. And to further keep the samples alive, each aquaria were placed into a bigger container with potable water and ice to maintain the 5 to 20 degree water temperature. And for the feeding, samples were fed with cook muscle meat. However, the feeding were only introduced right after the first molt of the samples during the observation. The feeding were only given for two hours to prevent the water from becoming cloudy which might cause harm to the sample perulus. And for the observation and documentation, each samples were placed inside a black container to successfully observe and photo document the changes in its morphological characteristic. For the species identification, the identification of this study coincides with the present study in the study of Gonzalez and Tanaguchi 1995 and Priyam Budo et al. 2017. So both of these studies provided a description about the perulus piney lobster. For the results, in species composition, out of 27 sample perulus observed, 3 species of panelurus were identified. 16 or 59.26% were panelurus or natus. 10 or 37.04% were Panolurus longipis longipis and only 1 or 3.70% were Panolurus versicolor. For the morphological characteristic, three stages were illustrated. First is the crystal stage. At this stage, the perulus were still transparent. However, presence of distinct characteristic can be observed. In Panolurus ornatus, its body is still transparent. However, the presence of band in the middle of its antenna and the club on the tip of its antenna can be observed. In Panelurus longipis longipis, it has a multiple slightly visible band in its antenna. However, club is absent here. And in Panelurus versicolor, its antenna is different from the first two species as it has an opaque antenna. And bands nor the club is absent here. Second is the pigmented stage. At this stage, the perulus are now starting to obtain their pigments. In Panelurus ornatus, it now have the presence of brown pigment and multiple bands on its antenna. In the Panelurus longipis longipis, 
Its body is now completely translucent and also have the presence of multiple bands in its antenna. And in the Panellus versicolor, its body now have a bright maroon pigment with multiple white line on its abdomen and a green translucent tail fan. Now at this rate, these three species are now distinguishable from one another. Third is the identifiable stage. This is also the period where the sample lasted. For the Phanalurus ornatus, presence of yellowish pigment and brown pattern with vertical white line in the middle of its abdomen was observed. In the Phanalurus longipis longipis, it has the presence of beige pigment with brown shading in its abdomen from darker to lighter. And in the Phanalurus versicolor, its body now have a dark red pigment and a multiple white line on its abdomen. Now, in terms of their antenna, only the Panelurus versicolor have a different antenna since it has an opaque antenna, while the other two have the presence of bands in their antenna. However, if you will take a closer look, the bands in the Panelurus longipis longipis is much more adjacent or closer together compared to the bands in the Panelurus ornatus. And in terms of their tail fan, the Panelurus versicolor have an opaque tail fan. The Panelurus longipis longipis have a translucent tail fan, white on top and brown on the bottom. On the Panelurus ornatus, it has a brown tail fan with white spot on each side of its tail fan. At this stage, these three species are now identifiable in two species level. For the conclusion, out of 27 sample perilous collected and obtained from the four collection sites in Palawan, the study were able to describe the changes in the morphological characteristic of the three species identified, namely the Panelurus ornatus, Panelurus versicolor, and the Panelurus longipis longipis. And for the recommendation, continuation of the collection and observation may be done to collect the remaining species of the Panelurus. And that is all. Thank you. Again, I am Krisa Andrei Testiza from the College of Fisheries and Aquatic Sciences.